up, doll collectors, hobbyist, fab some besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today, we are in our miniature Target from our DIY Target Toy Store video because we are taking a look at Barbie Skipper First Jobs Target member. I got this at Target. It is a Target exclusive for $22.99. On the back, we can see the items included, and on the side, it says, Skipper is the newest member of the Target team. Target team members are responsible for a variety of duties, including greeting customers, locating merchandise, and serving as cashiers. They work together to ensure that everyone has a fun and positive guest experience. Oh yeah. There's a checkout counter, there's a red plastic unit on the side. It has a paperboard back. It's supposed to look like shelves filled with product. There's a little card reader. It says Barbie on it. And we do have the Target logo right there. There is also a Target logo on the front. There's a slider so that we can move the items across the belt. Let's try it out with the teddy bear. Let's make sure it is standing, then slide it. Ah, I still knocked it over. There are hooks on the side where we can hang a Target bag. There aren't any printed details on the back. And there's a small hole here that looks similar to the one that was on the Barbie grocery store. You know, it had a pole with a checkout number. In fact, this checkout looks just like the one that does come with the Barbie grocery store, just in a different color. Bam! Yeah, they're pretty much the same. Same height, same magazine rack, same card reader, same circle. So if you're having a difficult time finding the Target playset, you could always try to customize the grocery store one. Oh, but the grocery store one has another printed image on the other side. And it's currently on the Target app for $18.99. Just saying. With the Target playset, we also get a Target basket, which is really cool. A blue lamp bananas, a pink necklace, a pink bear, purple nail polish, a purple plastic pillow, and a plant in a white pot. This playset also comes with a Skipper doll wearing a red t-shirt with a printed name badge that says Skipper that velcros in the back, blue leggings with an elastic waistband, and white sneakers. This doll has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulders, and hip. The face screening is pretty decent. You can see that the lips are a little pixelated, but overall, I kind of love that we have a Target playset. Loving the basket. And I wonder if that shirt can fit other dolls. Like a classic Barbie body. And the answer is yes! The top is a little short. It's like a crop top and it's a little snug on the sleeves. The fabric is pulling a little on the side, but I'm still gonna do it. The leggings fit pretty good, no trouble there. And even the shoes fit. Sorry, Skipper, but you're probably not getting that outfit back. Even though I bought two. Hmm, now we need to find a second doll to wear this other outfit. Well, a few new fashionistas arrived. I bought these on Amazon for $10.99 each. Yeah, it was delivered in an envelope. This is the Barbie Fashionista Ken number 212 with the new art style. This Ken is smiling with sculpted hair and brown eyes. He comes wearing a sleeveless shirt that says Los Angeles 01. There's a tie-dye print on the front and it's solid in the back. He wears lavender shorts with an elastic waistband, has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, the shoulder, and the hip. And this kin has a prosthetic leg. It is removable and he has neon green shoes. And apparently that smile is contagious because here's another one. This is Barbie Fashionista Ken number 211 with a big smile, blonde hair, and blue eyes. He wears a green t-shirt 
with a cactus and palm tree print, white shorts with dark blue stitching, and cream colored shoes. What do y'all think about smiling Ken? Let us know in the comments down below. I usually am not a fan of a doll with a toothy grin, but I think he's kind of adorable. I love his chin, however, I don't think he can fit the uniform. But if you're looking for a made-to-move body, you might be able to use the BMR 1959 doll with the green hair. Here is Barbie Fashionista number 205. She has blonde hair styled in a ponytail, blue eyes, pink lips, wears large gold-colored hoops that were not designed to be removed. She comes wearing a floral dress with red and pink flowers. The pattern continues all the way around and there is no opening in the back. And she wears clear glitter platform sandals. If you missed out on the Barbie and Ken Barbie style combo pack, here's a $20 option. Here is Barbie Fashionista 207. This doll has burgundy hair with pink or lavender highlights. She comes with heart sunglasses, decorative eye makeup, has brown eyes, a beauty mark, and I'm loving the screening. She wears a sleeveless dress with a lavender v-neck. The pattern is all the way around and it velcros in the back. And she finishes her look with lavender shoes. This is a curvy Barbie, and I'm having a little trouble finding a good match for her skin tone. I might put her on this Barbie Extra Fly Doll body. It's not a perfect match, but it doesn't look terrible. It's not made to move articulation, but it is more articulation, which I'll take. And we get to keep her curvy, and I like this face screening better. While the Barbie Extra Fly doll's head was warm, I was able to remove the earrings. So I'm going to trim off those hooks. And now we have removable earrings. I think this outfit looks cute on her. Here is Fashionista 210. She has brown hair. The top is pulled up into a bun with the sides hanging down. There is a lot of product here and you can see some of it on the doll. The hair is cut and curled to make this bun. She has brown eyes, a pinky purple lip color, yellow sunglasses, yellow sandals with what looks like sculpted fur. She wears a halter dress with a crochet printed pattern and it ties with a ribbon behind the neck. This doll has a smaller bust and is the height of a classic Barbie and you could probably use the blue tie-dye yoga Barbie if you want to put her on a made-to-move body. Here is Barbie Fashionista 209. I love her face, even though we are seeing some teeth. Her face screening looks pretty good. I feel like this is an outfit our dolls could wear to watch Barbie the movie. With a little pink plaid, there's a white ruffle at the neck with a black bow, the pattern continues all the way around. She wears a white pearl headband, has dark brown hair, and olive green eyes. This fashionista has an athletic build with more muscular legs and arms. She also has a smaller chest and wears black heels. She might match the blue top made to move Barbie, so I place the dolls in a plastic bag, then into a cup of hot water until the head softens and we can just remove it. Then place it onto the new body. And now Barbie Fashionista number 209 is made to move. She still looks great in her original outfit and I think she might be our newest target member. Now that both of our checkouts are open, let's take a look at a few accessory packs I found at Target for $5.99. This one is pastels. There's a pink bag with printed charms, an ice cream bag. I'm noticing a little theme here. A strawberry purse. Yeah, it's like sweets. A popsicle, drink, blue watch, blue headband, heart sunglasses, a gold colored star necklace, and lavender shoes. The other pack has like a bedtime theme with a pink sleeping mask, 
a purple backpack with clouds, a cat alarm clock, a plastic pillow that is similar to the one you get with the Target playset, just in a different color. Then we have a cat bag, a cat ear headband, a scrunchie and a hairbrush, purple shoes and a silver colored bracelet, and a pink teacup. All items that our dolls might pick up in our miniature Target. Thank you for joining us while we checked out this Target playset and a few new Barbie fashionistas. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!